you huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, what are your, what's your, your mindset going into this week? Um, I know how they work. I know how hard we work, and um, I'm excited to go out there and uh, have fun and, you know, showcase our style of football. How do you reflect on your time at USC? It was fun. Um, I had a lot of fun. I made a lot of, a lot of lifelong friends that transferred from USC or stayed at USC, and um, I just built a lot of connections over time, and it was fun. What were the main factors that went into the decision to move on from SC and you know, go someplace else for your last year? Um, production. I wanted to go make plays. I wanted to be somewhere where I could be the the guy. Um, be go somewhere where I could take 60 reps a game. I've never had that happen uh, for me at USC. I mean, no discredit to them. It's kind of hard to play in front of Drake Jackson or Uchenna Nuvosu or uh, Christian Rector or all these f uh, five star guys or, or guys that are now in the NFL. So you know, I had I had a uh, fun, but. Um, ultimately, you know, coming to Arizona was just something I knew was going to be good for me. How have you changed as a person since the time you enrolled at USC to, to now? Well, I was a 17-year-old freshman um, who finally had his own spot to live at in Los Angeles. And now I'm a 22, about to turn 23 November 1st. Um, year old man, and um, I, I've learned a lot. I learned that, uh, you know, your ups and your bads are the same thing. So, you know, just keep pushing. I learned a whole lot and I'm glad, I'm grateful for my whole entire college journey and career and every, everything that um, has happened to me up to this point. And you're from SoCal originally, right? Yes. Yeah, so, so you went to USC, but you're still kind of home. Uh, what's it like, you know, living away from home and out of state? I'm, I'm too old to be crying to my mama now, but uh, this feels, I'm just, I'm here for business. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to get coached at a high level. And I'm not too worried about home. Home is always going to be home. I can be, you know, a million miles away, but it'll always be there. So I just got to have fun and go out here and play. And you transferred before Johnny Nansen was hired, right? Um, yes, I, I entered the portal before I think Coach Nansen was hired, yes. Everything just kind of worked out? Yeah, perfect, perfect uh, situation. And how, how, how has your relationship grown with him since the time he recruited you in high school to now? Um, you know, when I was a freshman, it was a lot of like him prep, uh, prepping me to be what I am right now. Um, it's hard to, you know, get young guys to, you know, buy in right away as a freshman. And maybe I didn't buy all the way in with Coach Nansen as a freshman. But now he, I see that uh, he respects me, um, seeing that I've grown up and I have took that step to mature. And, you know, I respect him. I love him a lot dearly, you know, just because he's been with me since I was a little scrub. and. And now he's still with me and still coaching me as hard as I uh, can be coached, and I appreciate it. How do you go about kind of compartmentalizing your emotions this week, um, considering the circumstances? Um, I feel like there's no real, like, emotion. I love some of those guys over there that I've been with. Um, that's where I, I committed to out of high school. I have my college degree, uh, my undergrad degree is, says USC on it. But I'm blessed to be here at the University of Arizona. I'm blessed to be, you know, coached by the coach who recruited me. Um, to go to USC, he's my de defensive coordinator here. I'm being taught and coached at a high level. Everything I, uh, everything here at Arizona is great. Uh, Coach Fish runs the program like as close to an NFL program as possible. I feel like this is a great place to go if you want to be an NFL football player. And I'm just excited to be an Arizona Wildcat and perform on Saturday. Coach Fish said that uh, you guys worked on a lot of things defensively during the bye. What was those practices like? and? Uh, I mean, what do you expect in terms of being different this week? Uh, for me, I think the practice, uh, the practices were more about having fun. Um, really, like, playing football is a brutal sport. It's a very demanding sport. Our time, our effort, our energy. Um, you know, our coaches have times away from their family all year. They're gone. You know, they hardly come home. They hardly see their kids. So, um, you know, the fact that uh, we had a bye week, we were able to work on just being out there having fun, knowing that, you know, when things go bad, resort back to having fun and then being, being fundamentally sound. We worked on our, our, our technique, um, slowed the practices down a little bit, extended some of the, the periods, but, you know, it was real uh, technical and I appreciate it. How much do you think the bye week benefited you guys as a defensive unit? Uh, allowed us to get healthier. We were already a pretty healthy team, so uh, giving us an extra week to, of health and. Uh, getting our bodies back to the weight we were probably like week one, a little heavier. 
Um, for some guys who need to lose weight, probably an extra week to help you lose that weight. Just a real uh, awareness week, I would say, help you be aware of what we, what we need to do. So after the, the UW game, you said you know you guys take responsibility as defensive line for, for what happened. So which has been kind of your, your mindset as a unit for you guys up front? Going back to the technique, when you watch us play and watch us make uh, sacks and fumbles and TFLs and all that stuff is because we were being uh, technical, technically sound and we we're listening to, you know, all of the coaching and the details. And sometimes in the course of the game that might, you know, when you tired and when you might lose focus. So um, we just working on staying focused and staying technically sound, listening to all the coaching and, and just running, going full speed. It's safe to say that you have more of a background with Coach Manson than I think probably anyone else on the roster. You may be a couple of the UCLA guys who worked with him before, but you probably get what he's trying to say. Do you ever, have you ever gotten a sense that guys have struggled in that regard at all, that anything that Johnny's tried to teach has maybe been lost in translation? Um, I wouldn't say that. Football is a tough sport, man. Um, defense is a tough thing to do. It's hard to stop these guys. In, in, in the NFL, it's hard to stop those guys. These offenses are – um, very complex. There's a lot of checks. There's not, there's not that many stuff you can do on defense, but on offense, I can run a route based off what he's doing. Like, I can change my route. There's so many things that you can do, so many checks, um, so much stuff to help uh, specific things on the offense, you know. Um, I think everyone's bought in. No one's arguing the cause. Maybe sometimes we, we don't execute the right way, but we're bought in and we just have to, you know, execute a little better. Hard. And teams, especially in Pac-12, are scoring like crazy. I mean, Oregon has scored 40 plus points every game since they faced Georgia, and Washington does it regularly, and UCLA does it regularly. So, as a defense, what are the things that you can do in the course of a game to give your give your team uh, the best chance to win? Have fun. Don't get caught up in you know what the offense does. Like like you said, um, everyone's scoring points, and it's a it's a um, coach Fish says this all the time. It's not like stop them every play, but it's get, it's get stops. So we need to get those key stops in the moment. I mean, they might score, but let's get key stops. Let's get a sack fumble. Let's get a pick and let's change the, let's steal a possession. Let's just focus on stealing possessions. And I think if we can steal some possessions, we'll be fine. Is there anybody that stood out to you during the bye week um, that maybe impressed you some of the younger guys? Because we've seen Jacob Bonnie and <coughs> DJ Warnell and one of the little starting roles. Is there anybody else that might have stood out to me during these few weeks? Um, I would say all of our young defense alignment, um, Isaiah Ward, he's a young guy. Um, I don't know what his plans are, if, if he's playing or if he's red shirting, but I do know that he's a young guy who worked hard in the bye week and he's continuing to work hard, um, showing that he can pass rush and we're gonna continue to help him and try to bring him along. So when guys like me and Jalen Harris leave, uh, he'll be a guy that would be able to step up. But I'm, I'm impressed with a lot of our young defensive talent. I think we have a lot of guys that are going to be able to contribute um, far after like a lot of these older guys leave. I'm, I'm, me, I'm pretty impressed with our, our young corners, um, 23 and 7. I think those guys are just beasts, and uh, they'll be ready to excel when, when their time comes. Hunter, what do you remember about the, the game a couple years ago when USC and Arizona played during the COVID year? I got a sack. <laughs> nah, um, I remember it was a hard fought game. Honestly, I think uh, USC almost lost uh, uh, here in the COVID year. I think um, somebody just dropped a pick or something. But uh, other than that, like it was a very close game, and uh, USC had to drive down at the very last minute, about like 20, 20 seconds left on the clock to punch it in for a touchdown. But it was a close game, and every time Arizona plays USC, it's one of those uh, close games. So it'll be fun. Playing in basically empty stadium. Was it weird playing in basically an empty stadium? Um, no, nah, we're football is football. Like the COVID year, um, all the stadiums were empty, so it was just like playing football. I, honestly, I enjoyed the COVID uh, year more than anything because it was like not a lot of fans that could just talk. You know, it was just playing football, and if the team, whoever wanted to play the best that week was going to win. But no, like, fans or none of that extra outside noise was playing in effect. So I think it was pretty cool. Yeah, it's our time with Hunter. All right, y'all. Thanks, Hunter. Any questions? Dorian, you were named to the Bolitnikov um, watch list and mid-season addition to the watch list. What does that mean to you? Uh, it's just a blessing. Just showing that my hard work is paying off. Is that something that you ever like dreamed could happen to you? Oh, uh, well, 
I didn't know what the Blendikoff was until last year, so it definitely added to my list, though, when I found out what it was and what it meant. Um, it's probably old hat for him. Um, being around him, getting to know him, watching him do his thing, what have you learned? Uh, just how to um, be patient and always just make sure you're listening to what others got to say or you're um, just, <coughs> sorry about that. You're just being with the coaches, just listening to what they got to say because they did it before and they know better. And Jacob being an older guy, I can just look up to him. He's been in college for a couple more years than me, so it's good to see how well he's been in his career and how I can do a mine. Are there any elements of his game that you can copy or try to replicate, or do you feel like oh, you guys are? Uh, um, his yak, yards after catch, I'm trying to implement that into my game. What, what do you think makes him good at that? Uh, he just, his speed. He just uses his speed to get away from defenders, and he know that speed kills, and a lot, many can't guard that or even try to stop that. Uh, what jumps out to you when you uh, see the, the progress of a guy like T-Mac? Uh, tremendous. Like, it's just like he's a freshman, came in the college level, and just already is adapting quick and fast. Most freshmen around the country can't do that. They need a year to learn the system, learn a new offense, and T-Mac is doing really well with that. You had about a half a year before you played last season, if SC was the first game. What do you remember about that week? I'm sure they told you at some point, hey, we're going to move you up to the starting lineup. Uh, that week, mm, I just remember game time. Um, I think it was like second quarter. I was still sitting on the bench. And then uh, now I don't remember one of our receivers got hurt or they just put me in. And the first play I got in, they threw me the ball, caught it. And from there, has it just felt like you, be like you belonged? Basically? Yeah. Definitely. Um, there are some people who would question, like, why didn't you play sooner? If you know, since you did so well, once you got in there, why do you think? Oh, well, the f first couple weeks I had an um, ankle injury. So I would say that kind of set me back from the playbook or whatever it may be. But it's just, um, wait your time. Have you uh, noticed uh, the defenders guarding you any differently as the season's gone on, maybe recognizing? Uh, your your ability to go for the deep ball? Uh, no, I think just defense is stay within their system. Don't try to do nothing out of it. So USC has tied, they're tied for second in the nation in interceptions. Um, and I know you guys have gotten a little bit of a jump on, on watching the opponent or scouting the opponent this week. Anything stand out about their secondary or why do you think they've you know been so good at taking the ball away? Uh, just playing sound defense, doing what the coaches ask, and being where your, your feet are and where you need to be. I think. Man, zone. Uh, I respect zone, but I wouldn't be surprised if their D coordinator um, goes man and give us a challenge. Not really a challenge for us, but. Um, Fish mentioned that uh, you were a really good basketball player in high school, and he he thought that some of those skills kind of translated to football. Do you agree with that? Uh, yeah, I played varsity since freshman year. And I actually went to school for basketball. I didn't decide to play football until like middle of my um, freshman season. And that was in Minnesota, right? Yes. What position did you play? Uh, I played wide receiver. No. Oh, basketball? Yeah. Oh, I played point guard. Okay. Yeah, point guard, shooting guard. How does that help you on the football field? Because point guard, you kind of have to know where everybody is, and you're kind of like the leader of the offense. So how does that translate on the football field? Uh, just identifying where everybody's at, like what things I would see on film, like give me tendencies to see what kind of defense they're in, and just help point out to my guys and let them know they're in a certain coverage or let the quarterback know so he knows, like, all right, this linebacker is going to be here, the safety is going to be here. U of A guys at like uh, the rec center or open gym or anything? Uh, I think it was probably like a couple months ago we did like football five on five against basketball. Who won? Uh, the basketball players won by a couple points. Uh, who were the basketball players? Do you remember? Uh, I do not remember. How about the football guys? Who, who was on your team? Uh, it was me, Jackson Turner, Ciro, I want to say Parrish and, and me. How would you describe your game basketball-wise? Uh, 
pass first type of guy, try to look for my teammates, but then I can get to the rim when I need to or shoot the three when I need it. When you're going up for a jump ball situation, does that, does any of the basketball skills get the transfer rebound. over? Yeah. Yeah. Getting the rebound, trying to get the ball at the highest point. And then uh, for you know Jaden Delora being a quarterback, do you see any similarities between a point guard on the court and being a quarterback of an offense? Yeah, um, I say he reminds me kind of like that um, Chris Paul type. He just always knows where someone's going to be at, who's coming, who's not coming on the blitz, who's faking like they're coming and dropping back in the. Um, and he knows where the linebackers a certain way throw throw the certain route stuff like that. Thank you guys.